Hey guys, welcome back to The Hide. We're back out here today for a much anticipated, or at least in my mind, bulk 22 ammunition test. And I'm going to use the word test loosely as this is nothing scientific, but more than nothing just kind of to fulfill my own uh, ambitions here. Just to kind of see what kind of velocity data that we can get and SDs that we can get out of just some standard 22 LR bulk ammunition. So to kind of give a rundown, I've got some Winchester 36 grain hollow point advertised 1280 feet per second cci blazer 38 grain lead round nose 1235 feet per second some of the red federal bulk 36 grain this is a hollow point uh let's see they have an advertised velocity velocity of 1260 good old standby remington thunderbolt these are a 40 grain round nose with advertised velocity of 1255 our federal auto match this is a 40 grain solid, 1200 feet per second. Some Winchester Expert HV, 36 grain, 1280 feet per second. I'm thinking that these two loads are the same, but we're gonna test them anyway. Some of the black box Winchester M22. This is a 40 grain uh, round nose, 1255 feet per second. And then some of the uh, blue box Federal range pack. This is a 40 grain. Uh, moving at 1250 feet per second advertised velocity. Our test rifle is going to be the RS-22 from Rossi. Um, again, granted, these tests could vary depending on the ammunition that you use and the rifle that you use, but this is the closest thing that I had to just a standard carbine. This does use an 18-inch barrel, but for our sake of what we were doing, I think it is going to work just fine. So we're going to get the rifle set up over there on the bench and we'll get our first rounds loaded up in the magazine and we'll start putting some through the crony. All right, guys, first up is going to be the 36 grain copper plated hollow point federal red box bulk. All right, guys, we've let the barrel cool. We're going to try 10 of the Federal Blue Box. This is a 40 grain round nose. All right, guys, next up after our barrels cooled, we've got some of the Federal Auto Match. This is that 40 grain solid. So we'll try 10 of these and see what happens. All right, we've let our barrel cool. Next up is going to be the Remington Thunderbolt. This is pretty much the ammunition that everybody loves to hate. So we'll uh, we'll see what it does. I know it uh, most definitely has some consistency issues. So we'll see if that holds true today. All right, next up is going to be the CCI Blazer. This is the 38 grain lead round nose. And I will be showing you guys the uh, shot targets after we get this test completed, so definitely stay tuned for that. All right, so next up is going to be the Winchester M22. This is the 40 grain black copper plated round nose. All 
All right, guys, barrel's cooled. Next up is going to be the Winchester Expert HV. This is a lead hollow point, so it does differ from the other Winchester load that we have. The other is a copper plated. Both are 36 grain. So let's try 10 of these. All right, guys, last load up is going to be the Winchester. Now, this is a 36 grain copper plated hollow point. So, like I said, it does differ from the last one. So, we got our barrel cooled down. We're going to shoot this. You guys have been following along since I've been doing this, and I've been posting the results as we go in still shots after each, each section shot. So, after we get done, we'll go over the numbers as a whole and kind of get a, uh, a broad overview of, of how they all did. So, I'm anxious to see. All right, guys, so we've got all the numbers crunched. You guys have seen these as I was shooting them, but to kind of go over it in a little bit more detail here, after all of the groups have been shot, let's kind of go over what we found out. So the worst one of the day is actually, statistically, the Federal Red Box. We had an SD of 56, <laughs> which is quite a bit. We had a low velocity of 1039, a high velocity of 1229. So a fairly good, a good spread. Now, I shot all these at 25 yards. So the targets you've seen in the picture are representative of 25 yard grouping. So these little squares are about a half inch in, in width and a half inch in height. So kind of give you an idea of the 10 shot groups as we go on. So red box was the worst so what was the best believe it or not was actually statistically the federal auto match we had an sd of 14 high velocity 1199 low velocity of 1156 however we did have one failure to fire out of 10 shots so we had a light primer strike i did put that round back in the chamber and it would not fire um this one here posted an okay grouping. Again, these were at 25 yards. We used the Rossi RS-22, which that rifle is more than capable of shooting a quality group at 25 yards. Um, it, that's about representative. It's kind of it's kind of interesting to see how this data correlates with precision when you're talking about SDs, because that's really not that great a group considering the SD value. So one thing that I was probably most shocked about. I would have to say would be the CCI Blazer. Now we had an SD of 20 with a high velocity of 1276, low velocity of 1203, and look at that 10 shot group at 25 yards. <laughs> it's it's one hole. So, I mean, it, SD is a little bit over what was the Federal Auto Match, but the precision shown in it is, I mean, hands down better. So I think, honestly, what this kind of goes to show you is that, you know, each rifle is going to be its own, especially when we're talking about rimfire ammunition. Um, just because you have one that's a little less consistent doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to shoot bad. Um, another one I was really surprised with was this Blue Box Federal Bulk. This stuff had a standard div of 18, high velocity 1185, low of 1125, and we posted another pretty good group with that, you know, just bulk. So overall, I mean, I'd say any one of these are going to get the job done. I did have a failure to fire with the uh, M22 as well, the same as I had with the auto match. I mean, that kind of is what it is. One thing that I did find out that um, our averaged velocities, I'm sure that most of these were shot from the factory in probably a 22 inch barrel, whereas I was using an 18, so the velocities are gonna be a little lower. However, shooting this Expert HV, I had a median velocity of 1288 with a high of 1314, low of 1240, and advertised velocity at 1280 feet per second. So it was right on the money. This stuff was pretty much cooking. And it shot pretty good. Not too bad. So each one of these loads are definitely minute of woodchuck. No question at all. So if you guys like this content, 
let me know if you'd like to see some more content like this post up down below and let me know or let me know over on the facebook page we've got a patreon guys ammo is ridiculous as you know i have slowed down a little bit on video production it's just so expensive to get out and do anything right now but if you feel so inclined to support the channel it is greatly appreciated so hit us up over there but um as always i appreciate you guys watching and shoot straight later